How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. This episode is a little bit uh, different and uh, this is a special episode. I'm working in this Honda Civic. I'm going to show you everything about replacing the front brakes. And uh, this is for a co-worker friend of mine. And uh, this is not a pay video, okay? So uh, he paid for the parts with his own money, but we both work at AutoZone. So uh, I'm in the parking lot working in this vehicle. Um, AutoZone is not paying us to do this, but we're changing the front brakes and rotors on this vehicle. And uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing right now. If you see here, we have something uh, which is uh, some of the best brakes that you can get for your car. And uh, the good thing about AutoZone, and I'm not getting paid to do this, but it's not because I'm working in here, it's because uh, what I like about AutoZone is the warranties. If you get some brake pads, you get a lifetime warranty. In this case, the ones that he has is some Duralast, and uh, he's just gonna return them and uh, they still on the warranty and these ones this is the Duralast GT some of the best thing that you can get for your vehicle and if you open the package it's gonna tell you about the performance performance is true formulation this is uh, some carbon fiber technology that means that they're gonna resist a lot of heat and you guys know if you have carbon fiber brakes uh, the more heat that you put on the best uh, the brakes they're gonna work so I haven't used this on my car, I'm not going to tell you that I used this before, but for what I know, this is some of the best brakes that you can get for your car. So this is the Duralast GT, best thing that you can get for your vehicle if you decide to purchase uh, your part in AutoZone. And this is the rotors, GT rotors. Okay, so they are jet coated and uh, they have uh, GT slots. And this is direct fit for this Honda Civic. And they, uh, they came with the black coating. This is designed to withstand 120 hours of salt and water exposure. So they're not gonna get rusty on you. At least this part, obviously this part is gonna be the braking part. So all that is gonna go away, but this part is gonna stay black and it's gonna resist the salt, water. So this is gonna be something that they came with hardware, brake pads, and lifetime warranty that if you get your brakes in AutoZone, long as you have the same vehicle, you can just bring your old brake pads and get new ones. So, guys, uh, really easy. You guys saw me doing brakes before, uh, but we're gonna change the way that this car brakes. Uh, performance is gonna be a lot better. You guys already know the drill jack jack stands put the tires uh, under the car so it's safer and quick little tip for you guys if you jacking up the car on the front that's the subframe and then you can jack up your car from there so but make sure that your handbrake is on so it's even safer with the jack stands tires underneath and your jack in here so a lot safe now I'm going to be able to work on both sides and remember if you watch my previous videos on this work with your car not against your car because you have to remove those two bolts right here for the bracket so you're going to be able to move the tires to the outside so you have more leverage when you're removing those two bolts and then you know the drill remove those screws first and then remove the caliper after that you can remove your rotors and put the new ones back on you know all this about the brakes I've been doing this forever so I don't have to go in detail on how to do it if you want to know on detail how to do this I'm gonna put the link for my video where I replace the front brakes on my Accord and pretty much is the same here on the driver's side you have two 12 millimeters to remove the caliper get them loose
caliper is out, then you can remove your old brake pads. If you want to replace them, you need to push the piston. This is the best thing to use. Uh, with this clamp, you push the piston in so you can accommodate the new brake pad. We want to remove this old one. Seventeen millimeters as well. This one doesn't require to be torqued down like crazy. That's you can see that's not a lot. We can just remove the bracket. Bracket's out. Now it looks like someone already worked on this. Um, uh, screws, but I didn't bring my impact screwdriver, so I'm gonna be careful not to damage those uh, screws. Yeah, somebody uh, worked on this before, so it's a lot easier. If you have an impact screwdriver like I do, you better use it before you strip these ones, and that uh, the job is gonna get a lot worse. But in this case, you can see somebody worked on this before. And if you work on this and you remove it, make sure the next time you put some anti seize so they don't get stuck on you. You see how rusty they are? I'm gonna put some anti seize for next time. Uh, it's gonna be easy to remove, but they're gonna be in there uh, right and tight. But those just holding the rotor, it's not a big deal on them. That's just they do it so they can hold the rotor on the assembly line. It makes it easier for them to put their brake calipers. Okay, all rotor is out. We had a new rotor in here. Before you put this one on, you have to make sure that the surface right here is clean. So I'm about to clean it right now. Be careful, don't touch the surface where the brake is gonna make contact. Make sure that you line them up. These holes for the screws, grab your anti seize, put a little bit in the thread. You don't need a lot, you just need some. So, next time that you have to remove those screws, ah, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Okay, that's pretty good. Rotor is in place, bracket is in place. Now let's grab our caliper and we're just gonna push the piston. And the only thing that I'm doing, I put the old brake pad in here and then I put my compressor. I'm just gonna tighten them up and push the piston in. But be careful with this rubber boot. If it's kinda like sticky to the caliper, uh, just put a little bit of grease so you don't damage the rubber boot now that we have everything in place piston has been pushed permatex i'm not sponsored by them but uh, this is one of the best things uh, that i use for the brakes i'm gonna put a little bit on the ends just right here we have here the new hardware it's included in the kit One more thing that I like to do before I put the brakes, the one with the wear out indicator, it goes on the back, but make sure that when you put the brake pad, it's gonna be on the bottom. So if you have this one and you try to put them on, but the wear out indicator is gonna be on top, just grab the other one, and if you put it on it, it's gonna be on the bottom. So that's where it goes. But before we, I put this one, I like to put some more Permatex in this side just a little bit and then just spread it out with your finger. When you want to put your caliper, make sure that the rubber hose is not twisted. Put it the same way that you remove it. 
you're gonna see that the brake hose is still in the same position when you flip the caliper and the, the brake hose looks twisted that means that uh, your brakes they're not gonna work well make sure that you put it in the right way so the brake hose uh, is not twisted around okay guys this side is on and last but not least few tips at the end don't forget to remove the pins get them lubricated and these things if you try to tighten them up the bolts for the caliper these things are uh, they're gonna just spin so grab a 19 millimeter wrench put it in here so you hold this uh, part of the pin just put it right there so you can hold this part while you tighten up the bolt so guys if you have any questions please comment down below let me know i'm gonna be happy to help and that's it for this one guys i hope you like it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one peace